Welcome back to Banjo Tooie. I am your host, Ultra Director Jester, with the Niskel. Why so glum, chum? Well, we're about to get to a level that is, uh, not really, uh, my, uh, most proudest moment, uh, I hate this level. I spy some water. So far, this is my most hated level ever, like, uh, ever, and I don't do a very good job in it. And I can tell that when we start doing the backtracking portion of this uh, series, we'll be spending a lot of time back here again. It's okay, mate. I mean, some of us have <laughs> off days. So you can't even find anything reassuring to say! No, I can't, because I haven't seen the level yet. <laughs> so I'll just assume it's a water level. Well, we'll get to, we'll get to where we get there, because right now we gotta get there first. Oh yeah, how do we get there? And to get there, we have to head up over there. See that door in the distance? Over where? Over there. Oh. We can't go through that door and in turn follow the sisters until we get a special move in the next level. But we can use our split up feature that we just learned. No! Oh wait, that's okay. It's okay, we got. sometimes we gotta do things together, you know, apart and separate. So we take Banjo, go over here, it's, it's a very difficult challenge, you just go over here and- mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta press on that switch and, oh. oh! it's maddening. That seems like busy work. May have forgotten the, the uh, exact button to press <laughs> to get it to open. Oh no, well what's gonna happen when you need more footage? D uh, d it it's been months, wait, man! Is it, is, it, is it one of the C buttons? Uh, okay, there we go. It's been months! And this is what I get for doing everything all at once. And not doing everything. Hey, I will say, having fun like this is... It's such a joy. I like fun and joy. I like fun and joy. Fun and joy are two of my favorite things. We're Ooh. not gonna have that in this episode, I assume, so... Well, uh, this one is gonna be okay. We'll get to why. So, uh... Huh, looks like we're gonna need Mumbo here for something. Right here? Yeah. Really? For the train, I guess. Okay. We got another move here. This is... Funky Kong! Ice eggs! Oh. Well, it's just another elemental egg. I know, we, we have a lot of them. They look so... cold. They look so... <laughs> it's, it's so primitive the way they're shaded. Hi, yes, I'm a new design student, and uh, I would like to make the models for your eggs. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, you mean you only know wireframes? Cool. Can you at least close the wireframes to make it look like an egg shape? It's a special type of shading. Mario's hat had that too. It did. Hey, there we go. That opens the way to the train. <laughs> no! Oh, God! train accident in Banjo-Kazooie, and that's when we go to the horror level where you see all the victims on the train. Well, I'm sure, well, I'm sure whoever did it had some kind of crazy reason to do it. I wonder what their locomotive was. <laughs> yes, I know. <sighs> I know. Okay, I'm fine. I know. See, they don't hurt as much. It's more like more like getting a mosquito bite. It's like, you know it's coming when it lands on your arm and you're just like, okay, are we really doing this? And then it ends up biting you because, you know, you didn't want to, like, crush it or you, you were so busy pondering. It's like, why is this so annoying? And then it bites you and you're like, oh, crap. And then, you know, it leaves you with an itchy spot. I have no idea why the bill drill doesn't push down buttons. You think a jackhammer could be really good at pushing a button. And here I go, unlocking the next level. Actually, the next... The, the, the next next level. Oh my. To ye lagoon. Ah, uh, the lagoon. Ah, uh, the lagoon. Let's so open up this way. So we can make our way back to... Wait. Wait for it. Oh. Hold up. I accidentally went there. I wanted to go to Wooded Hollow instead. Do we even have to talk to Jiggy Wiggy? That's what we're doing. Oh, okay. Because the Yield Lagoon was where you're supposed to go. And lo and behold, 
the way was closed. Oh. So, gotcha. We can continue on the next challenge of Jiggy Wiggy's Temple. <laughs> it's time for another puzzle. Here Break we... out the Professor Layton yep, music. Here we go. All right. Do, 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 it's do, okay, do. I'll do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't need to. Oh, is this... Is this a premonition that Banjo is having? It's like, oh, I foresee pirates and, uh, ruins. He's like, oh, I've guessed the culprit of this conundrum. <laughs> the culprit is you. It's the Hag Sisters. We literally saw them do it. <laughs> Banjo's always called to solve the cases that are already pre-solved. <laughs> Like, like they call him in. Banjo. I have this. I have this maze on a cereal box. Can you please come and help me complete it? And then Banjo just, you know, draws a line outside the maze to the exit. <laughs> Thinking outside the box, Banjo. This is why we call you. That's right. Did uh -huh. I did I ever tell you of a prank that uh, one of the girls at my old job pulled? So uh, there, there's always this thought that you know some of the kitchen guys are not as smart as some other people, and we decided to test that one day on a really boring day. And by the way, that's not a catch-all for people who work in a kitchen. Calm yourselves. No, the thing we tried, because uh, this gentleman thought he was hot shit, so we decided to test that theory. One of the girls created a maze with no solution. <laughs> and said, if you solve this in ten minutes, I'll give you twenty bucks. She he, lost 20 bucks, didn't she? He tried for an hour. Oh. And never got it. An hour? He tried for an hour. An hour! And never got it. How big was the maze? Uh, yeah, it was it was pretty elaborate, but... Oh, there, like, like, like I'm talking size, like as big as this table? Like, you know, no, just, no, yeah. uh, take, uh... Take half a regular sheet of printer paper. And it was about that big. Alright, the maze was like... What's a regular like, sheet of paper? Eight and a half by eleven. So well, that's, that's how big the paper was, but like you know the the, the size of the maze. Like. Oh yeah, and it was it wasn't that big, but yeah, it was just really funny because we an uh, hour though. You think at, at some point you'd be like, wait a minute, there is no solution. No, the thing is, we forgot about it. Like, <laughs> like customers came in, customers came in, and we had to go deal with them, and then we realized, oh shit, Z. Is he still doing the maze? We go back in there, we just start busting out laughing. He's like, I can't figure it out! Oh dear. That's... <laughs> sad. How dare you bully a poor defenseless idiot. <laughs> Look, it was a really slow day. I think it was even raining that yeah, day. Yeah, it was almost as slow as he was. Oh god. I feel kind of bad, because he's a good kid, but... He Not did, very smart! He just didn't know where to quit! An, an hour? An hour! Come on! An hour? An hour! <laughs> There's no excuse! An hour! No, it isn't! An hour on a maze that size? <laughs> you think at least after 20 minutes you'd be like, Wait a minute, they're pulling my leg here, I think. I will say, at during that day, he, he may have deserved it. Damn. Because I think that- Three, three in a row. Oh, wow. Solve them puzzles. Hell yeah. Oh, this looks like Clanker's Cavern, or... Oh, I don't, I don't like this level. It's all mechanical and it's, shit. It, it seems very Rusty Bucket Bay-y, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I need to point out the fact that I believe that was the day that kid uh, wanted to uh, give the server who pranked him a massage, and he said, Don't worry, and I quote... I have magic fingers. So his nickname became Magic Fingers from that day on. Oh no. <laughs> so I also have to say uh. I, I loved working with this girl because she is such a such a bitch, but in the great way. Where it's like if you want to mess with somebody, she's got your back and knows exactly how to do it. <laughs> it was, oh well, that was a great day. Congratulations on solving the puzzle. Well, oh, I can't wait to push that button. The big red button that says, do not push. Because I want to push that button, too. <laughs> oh, we, we gotta push the button. It's right there. What do you think it's gonna do? It's gonna turn on something that uh, spits out a jiggy, or it's gonna create a whole bunch of enemies we gotta fight for a jiggy, or... It's either that, or it's just gonna open up a different part of the level, and or, I'm gonna cry. Or it's gonna be a stupid, ridiculous gimmick that's gonna make everything not fun. Oh, Grunty Industries? 
Grunty Industries. What's she making? I didn't know she had a, a company, you know. Here I am claiming to be a feminist, and here I am attacking a woman entrepreneur. Uh, I mean, can, can we apply? Like, does she have a good 401k? Is it even worth our time? Well, I mean, look at her amusement park and how unsanitary that is. I, I mean, yes, it's gross, but does it make a profit? Hmm. So we need 36 jiggies to move on to the next one. Okay. But, uh, we're definitely gonna have that many. Oh, yeah, definitely. No issue there. So, uh, moving on to the cliff top. Very convenient. It's right where we need to be. And now we go to the water level. Now we go to the water level. But fortunately, I... oh. fortunately, uh, there are two parts. There is an above water portion and a below water portion. And how long are you going to stave off doing the underwater portion? Well, we're dedicating the whole next episode to it. Yeah! So Jolly we... Rogers Lagoon. This place is to dig down here. Uh, you, this is a doubloon. They are all, they are the only currency accepted in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Oh, by the way, welcome to Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Oh, okay, cool. The lagoon, of course, is the swimming portion. Mm hmm. So, are we going to meet pirates? Uh. Aw, oh, come on, man. Pirates. <laughs> How are we gonna meet pirates, he says. Pirates! Oh, oh I gotta get up there. I'm yeah, gonna... get up there. There's tons of doubloons. Get right. that pirate treasure. Still gotta dig around here, though. Pull a Jack Sparrow. Save one of the cursed doubloons and then fight Barbosa. I like Pono as Emporium. Pato? Pono. Oh, Pono. <laughs> Excuse me, Pono. Do you have my table? I, th I think I saw somebody selling it. Right now we're just gathering up some doubloons and opening up the level. Kind of exploring certain landmarks before we move on. Wait a minute, does this mean the pirates? They're actually pawning off the treasure they get? Huh? Makes perfect sense. Which part do I get it? Uh, wait, alright, hang on. Some something's happening. Will this actually work? Yeah, hang on. Hang on to- Ah! Oh. There, there we go. Gotta do it from the weak point. There it is! God. Ow! God. <laughs> God damn it. That would have taken me forever, not gonna lie. Like, I wouldn't have even noticed that, or even thought to shoot grenades at it. So it is a really good thing that you're playing this. So the thing about Kazooie, when she's by herself, she doesn't have that stupid bear to weigh her down, so she can jump way higher with this. Oh, that's cool! Allegedly. You know, it, in a manner of speaking. I think I'm losing all my momentum on the side of the wall there. Woo! There yeah, we go. There we go. There we go. Ten doubloons. Perfect. So, do they ever tell you that there's an advantage to splitting them up? I, I think you just gotta figure it out for yourself. Interesting. Whoa! <laughs> I, I, I took fall damage. Yeah, you took fall damage, <laughs> but you kind of like slid. Turtle View Cave. This is one of the parts we're going to have to backtrack for. Time to view Tip Top from afar. Hey, Kazooie, learn a new move. This is Wing Whack! She now has an attack as well! Oh, that's good. Yeah, let me practice it on you, Corporal. <laughs> this is actually a badass move. I like it. Does she do a backhand? Or oh, back she does a wing? whirlwind. Oh, nice! Yeah. Goes for the karate chop. Woo! Oh, that's even cooler! Kind of reminds me of Chunky Kong's... Rawr! Yeah! It's, it, it feels good to do. <laughs> I'm going to do it everywhere. Playing, a, pl uh, playing as Kazooie feels good. She moves fast, she jumps high. Now she's got this whirlwind attack that feels nice. So I just have a, I have a game with just her. See, I like the, the fast characters. Because it feels like I'm getting stuff done. Yeah. And I don't have to lug around four other Kongs. Yeah, we got a lot of backtracking to do here. Not just from what I missed from my own, uh, incompetence. Well, it's been years. You'll, I wouldn't see, say you'll you're see. incompetent. Yeah, well, you'll, you'll be singing a different tune when you figure this out. It's been years. It's been... Anyway. Give me a beer. A ginger beer. You know they wanted to keep that at beer. You know Rare wanted to keep that as, at beer. There's no way their first instinct was ginger beer. You never had ginger beer? They, I mean, ginger beer is pretty good. 
Make a Moscow Mule out of it. Like ginger ale. I think you would like Moscow Mules then. I think I would. They're pretty okay. Oh, hello there. Oh, these are frog pirates! I'm Jolly Roger, town mayor, and proprietor of this lovely harborside M. Yo, one ginger beer, please, frogman. I'd love to oblige, but I'm less than jolly at the moment, as my partner's gone missing! Oh, no! Oh, that, that is a shame. You're, I didn't know you had such such interest in your bar backer. Yeah, where'd she go? A wave racer? Ooh. Uh, uh. Huh. She was indeed eaten by a vicious sea demon. Oh no. Well, I hate to tell you. Not to have any premonitions or anything, but, uh... Yeesh. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, that sounds like something I... that... Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take the room, sure. Just imagine if Banjo-Kazooie also started talking like pirates. <laughs> would you like one of the rooms with the with the mole in it? I I would. It's like, oh, right, matey, I would like to, you know, take part in under it and stop it. <laughs> okay, I, I would like it. Stop it. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, what you got? Oh, is he taking the balloons? Sub aqua egg aiming. Great, you can aim underwater. You can aim underwater. This oh, also this yeah. also means that the entirety of your swimming in this level yes. will be done in the first of persons. Yes. Beautiful. Why don't you give me a helmet, mole, so I can go underwater and not die? It. I mean, just a thought. Oh, just wait for it. Uh, oh, no. Do we actually get a scuba suit? <laughs> oh, no! Hey, gunpowder! That sounds like that's dangerous. Let's blow it the oh, fuck let's up! Let's blow it the fuck up! Blow uh, it the fuck up! Yeah, there we go, alright! What the hell?! Oh, I just remember working at my bar and just some asshole blows a hole in the side of it. Boy, I buy a room for half price because a mold dug into one of the rooms <laughs> and someone blows up out of my fucking storage. This the is the partner's... worst day ever! My lady friend's gone missing too. It's, it's... This, 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 this is, this is awful. Not the best day for this frog lady, ah! you fool. <laughs> he almost seems like, like... The reptile is coming out, like, you know, I didn't used to act like this, but hey, wait a minute! I know you! Captain Black Eye! Y you had a picture! He did have a picture. And, uh, speaking of pictures, look at that back there. He, he's, he's kind of miserable at the moment. Aw, you lose your treasure? <laughs> <laughs> Where are your sea legs? <laughs> Watch your tongue, a buzzard. How dare you call me a buzzard? You're very tall. <laughs> oh my god, he is, and he's just sitting down right now. I think he's like hella hungover or something. That sounds right. Too much rum. Oh, if I keep bothering him, he's gonna kill me. Oh. <laughs> Here, take some money. All right, bye. Wow, it's very rare that a pirate would give away treasure. It, oh, oh, oh. You, you, you know what? He's it's just, just he's fine. Yeah, I, don't need to worry. He about be that. fine. Don't need to worry about that one. No need to worry about him. He'll be fine. All right. Uh, I think we kind of exhausted everything here. And they just start throwing grenades everywhere. There's something up there. Thought there was. Let's see. Have you seen the Pirates of the Caribbean movies? They're so boring. I cannot keep my eyes open. Like all of them? I saw two of them, and I couldn't keep my eyes open. They were so boring. I I can't stay awake on those movies. But pirates! Come on! I, I, I don't find it charming. Oh. Well, uh, don't think we can get that for right now. You don't want to go swimming? We need to be able to fly. Uh, oh. 
And it's these stupid fish here. Whoa, oh no. It's these oh, no. stupid fish that I messed up. I forgot how to deal with them. Well, that's fine. So we're gonna get a method on how to, to, to deal with these fish. I'm gonna forget every single one of them. There's like, like eight or nine of them in the level. Oh. So when we come back, I have to find all of them again and get all the everything that I missed. Do you, okay. Just because I hated this level so much, I just wanted to be done with it. So I just kind of skipped them. For the people at home, how do you deal with them? Or is that a secret for later? Ah! I think there's like a torpedo move we learn later, and we're supposed to launch Kazooie into him. That takes the thing that's in there. Oh. Something along that line. Okay. It's, it's, it's bad. I still love that throwing grenades does absolutely nothing to these, like, rock-skinned fish. Yeah, they're called seamies. The idea is you're supposed to, like, pass through them and grab the thing from the side or something. Oh. Oh, I hate them. That's kind of gross. Yeah. Oh, and there's how we get in. Alright, this guy keeps giving you, like, a turbo smooch and it keeps hurting you. Yeah, and I'm running out of air, too. Yes, you, you're dying. I am indeed dying. You're dying. Tap out. That seems to be a problem. Tap out. I mean, I got plenty of air because, you know, thanks to helping my goldfish out, but, uh... Huh. <laughs> Gr grenade. Grenade. Damn it. So, yeah. So Dis what disappointing, to say the least. Oh, well, what else do you want to talk about? Well, I uh, could, uh... Talk about how I'm just gonna do this for a little bit longer, then we're gonna open up the rest of the level. Have you ever gone snorkeling? I have not. It's fantastic. You ever gone hang gliding? I have not gone hang gliding. Oh, not, not hang gliding, parasailing. I have not. Have you? I have. Okay, so we have different experiences. Oh, there we go. You can kill those things with a gr grenade, no problem. But these things, no. These things, oh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta be special. So, parasailing. Oh, wait. Was it parasailing or hang gliding? It was parasailing. Parasailing. We were tied to a boat and we were flying up and, you know, up, up, and up. Okay, I can't do that because I don't like heights. I had Violet with me, so... Okay, so you had support. Oh, and then you have died. Yeah. Uh, snorkeling is really good, especially in the waters where you barely even need a snorkel to look ten feet down. Beautiful waters. Which waters did you go to? Uh, we went to Jamaica. Ooh. Very pretty. Ooh. The main streets, not so much. <laughs> it was also raining, so it eventually cleared up and we went. But those waters, man, are so clear. Oh, I bet. Beautiful. Gotta find a way to get up there. Greatest graduation present get ever. Up on the roof. Get up on the roof. Wish I could have been old enough to indulge in the... In the many things that you can indulge in when you're an adult. Well, go back. The rum. Yes, I need to go back. The, the weed? <laughs> the the gonja? <laughs> I will say, there's a lot of things that, you know, you would be checked for if you brought it back into the States. Oh, no, man, it's parsley. <laughs> the great gonja. Oh, ew. Ech. Ew. Ech. Why? Ech. This bear goes everywhere. Why? Yeah. Are there, are there jiggies down here? Oh my god, there is. There is. There's, there's, some, there's some things that we can't do yet. Just kind of starting things. We gotta, we, we gotta come back oh, a lot. Oh no, are you... Oh. Oh! So that's step one, that's good. I didn't even talk to you, pig fellow. We gotta get that now. Uh, were those kids just sad that they couldn't go swimming? Well, yeah. Because there was a, you know, a chemical spill <laughs> too much dumping in there in a gigantic <laughs> faucet. Conveniently dumping in the one place it has to dump. Everybody knows that when you stop the flow of chemicals, that, uh... <laughs> it's immediately okay it's to swim in. It's immediately, yeah, it's, yeah. it's alright. Just, just stay away from this drain here, kids. You know, all that toxic waste, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Do the doubloons respawn when you leave the level? I don't believe so. Okay, so there's a set amount of doubloons you need. Yes, because we can use them at Pono's. Oh, is that where we're heading next? Yes. I think. 
Wave Racer? <gasps> All right! Let's get to riding. Well, uh, we also need doubloons here as well. Blubber's Wave Race Hire. Hey, it's Captain Blubber from Tre Cap Treasure Trove Cove. That was like a million years ago. I'm sorry, man. Level two of Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, an actual Jinjo! Hi, Jinjo. Go back home. Yeah, Say nothing. Notes over there. Doop, doop. So, do we have to play Wave Race 64 after this? <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. And then get killed. Ahoy there! He'd be your old shipmate, Cap in the Blubber. Oh right, we had to get him like treasurer. Now something. you remember. There we go. He's 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 got belching for speaking. <laughs> Oh, it's Rick. Uh, so many places to go and find things uh, out. Oh, uh, God. Lubber guts? That's actually a pretty good one. All me wave racers are shipwrecked. And the last one was eaten by a fish yesterday. I think you need to find a new form of employment. You're not really good at this. I'm really proud of my Mr. Krabs impersonation. <laughs> Hi, me wave racers have been taken away by a gigantic fish. <laughs> well, at least I won't have to paint them anymore. <laughs> Clancy Brown, you're out of a job. No, no, no way he's out of a job. Now say fuck like Mr. Krabs. Fuck. <laughs> fuck ye, <you>, boy. <laughs> Get back in the kitchen and make me a bunch of fucking Grammy patties! <laughs> the lost edit of the Sailor Mouth episode. <laughs> Whoa! Got some, got some fast shoes! Take these, run out here! For fucking what? run! On the water? Zoom! <gasps> On the water! There's a Jinjo over there! Quick, 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 quick! Yep! Got him. As well as some doubloons down here we can get. I would love it if Kazooie continued to try and run when you were underwater. <laughs> Accidentally kept Banjo under the water too long. <laughs> but now she's like a propeller. We got all the doubloons! You got a gamer pick for that? Apparently, here it is. Okay. So down there is the rest of the level. Excellent. A, a gigantic, awful water labyrinth. Even more excellent. Even more excellent. Ah, oh, perfect. I've never heard something I've wanted to do more in my life. You, th you all think the water temple's bad. That's all. That's because you, you all missed one key. This is just bad by design. There's still a place you need to dig, and you went past it. I know, I, don't, I noticed it too. You'll get it, no worries. It's okay. Pono! Now we got the doubloons, time to spend some of them. On things! Ooh, a BK box? Burger King? <laughs> you know, Banjo loves those dollar bacon cheeseburgers, you know what I'm saying? Wait, they're a dollar? <laughs> you haven't seen the commercials, Banjo? Kazoo, you told me they were five! I just didn't want you to eat anymore. That's how I get all the fries. <laughs> then they have fries! <laughs> Banjo has only indulged in the nugs. He never knew about the burgers. <laughs> you fool. I'm thinking, yeah, it's Burger King. All they have are burgers. Oh. Only burgers? Yep. But I see fries and like Cokes and like chicken sandwiches. It's lying. Don't you dare get the chicken. <laughs> do you want the jiggy banjo? <laughs> <laughs> they only do it for real customers. That's what you are, right? A real customer. You know, I like Burger King, it's just they've never gotten my order right, ever. I know! Every single time, no matter where I'm at. Is, is it Burger King, or is it just where we are? I, I don't know. I went to an airport one time, and the only option that was open was Burger King. It was the worst experience of my life. Ugh. Like, stale fries. Ew! Bur like, bun that was hard as a rock. They got no part of it right, and the thing is, I was the only customer! They just don't care. They just don't care. How do they get it wrong? And this was like years ago. And that's why I thought it was hilarious. The, the local one near us, one city over, got an upgrade. <laughs> like it looks so much better and it's still shit. Oh God. How? Uh, 
It's like every time yeah, I don't eat Burger King very often, but when I do, it's like I, I, I give him a chance. I throw him a bone. I know, I they give try him it a out. Chance. And what happens? They screw me. Disappointment. They screw me. All right, Mumbo, got your Globo. Go up and up the rest of the level now, please. Mumbo, Globo, Banjo, Kazoo. Oh, oh. Setsuo! Tetsuo. Tetsuo, excuse me. Kaneda! You haven't even seen Akira. I haven't. You can't make that reference. Give me unless you've seen it. Give me a C minus for effort. I will give you a D plus for effort. I was in the ballpark. <laughs> At least. Yeah, and it got eaten by a gigantic biomass. <laughs> the bike looks cool. And that's it. That's all I got. I'm not an anime fan. I'm a fraud. You know what the... When you do watch the movie, keep an eye on the light. The light? The way that they animated lights was so revolutionary. It's, it's oh. like, it's the the bikes of the lights when they're doing the the, the race scene, the, yeah. the, the, the the lighting that they use to, to, to show different characters, the lighting of all the different, you know, panels and screens and all that. It was really revolutionary for the time. I really enjoy it. And then there's also boobies and lots of violence, and there's a big, you know, scary thing at the end that absorbs oh. everything and makes and explodes the, the, the entire city. But, you know, hey! It's, 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 it's great. And the soundtrack's weird and trippy. I'll take it. I really like old animation style anime. Well, it's good uh, shit. I, I think Mumbo did something along the lines of oxidizing the water so we can breathe in it. That's good. Now you no longer have to breathe in the second half of the level. Yes. Awesome. The second half of the level is where everything else is. It's time to do that. It's time to do that. Uh, time to do that. Uh, it's time to swim forever and get lost in a water labyrinth. Yeah. Yeah. You... So, um, after this level uh -huh. is where I stopped recording Imagine footage. Imagine that. Oh yeah. And then I came back to do the level after this, and it wasn't much better. Well, it's all right. It's uh, but that's okay. So next time on Banjo-Tooie, we dive into the watery depths of Jolly Roger's Lagoon. Joy, joy, joy.